video we're going to show you how to make a pocket pockets are uh, simple this is one of our uh, cardigan Rhinebeck cardigan there's a pocket so I'll show you how to make pocket so first you're gonna need a yarn and if you have a crochet hook it's um, or tapestry needle it's handy and then some safety pin or stitch marker and here's the cardigan and what are you gonna do you you're gonna position the pocket where you want to put and sizes and this is a stockinette stitch which is uh, one side is knit uh, the other side is purl. So you're gonna knead and purl back and forth. So you're gonna position the pocket. If you wanna uh, pocket here, you're gonna start from bottom to top. And when you do that, you're gonna pick up the stitches, um, number of stitches, and alongside this column. So if you see, let's see the your starting point is here you're gonna pick up the leg you open up the stitches there is a under has this bar and this way it's easy if you have a safety pin this is your starting point and go to next stitches you will see there is a gap here, gonna be your next stitch. And so you pick up the stitches, so right next will be this one, not this one. So this way you're gonna have a straight line. And next one, will be this, not right next to it, but one. So pick up number of stitches you would like to make, and you're gonna pick up this side stitches alongside. And when you pick up, pick up from right to left. This way you're gonna have a seamless stitch. So you insert a needle like under and introduce new yarn. We're using contrast color. We like to leave a um, few inches of yarn so we can use this yarn to seam the side later. So you pick up the yarn like this. And then you go next to stitch, insert a needle under the bar, and you can take up the stitch marker, or you can leave it on. And yarn over as if you need. And you go next stitch, insert a needle under the bar, yarn over. Just be careful not to confuse use the working yarn which is attached to a ball of yarn so pick up and then go next one insert a needle yarn over uh, so under yarn over pick up under yarn over pick up so you will pick up number of stitches you need to make. So important thing is follow the column. So underneath there is a bar. You go straight from right to left. Let's see, we have a number of stitches we want to make. Then you're gonna start knitting. So in this way, your first row will be wrong side, which is inside of the pocket. So right side is knit stitch, which means you're gonna purl. 
the first row. So right side will be knit stitch, wrong side will be purl stitch by doing purling. And then next row is a right side, which means knit stitch. Here, knit. So this is regular knitting and purling, so nothing too difficult. So you will repeat this uh, this as long as you want so this is a stockinet stitch which is one side is knit stitch the other wrong side is purl stitch okay now when it comes to Rip stitch, what you do is one knit, one purl, one knit, one purl. If it's two by two rib, two knit, two purl, two knit, two purl, and the other side is two purl, two knit. So one knit, one purl. This is when it's one by one rib. So you can match the other pattern. One knit, one purl. In this particular sweater, it's just the stocking net, which means one row knit, one row purl. So in this case, you end with knit stitch, and the other side is purl, purl, knit. Her knit. Her knit. Her. So this is when it's rib stitch like this. One knit, one purr, one knit, one purr. Now, when it's a um, seed stitch, uh, on, someone said moss stitch, Moss stitch is different from rib stitch. When you see knit stitch, you purr. And when you see purr stitch, you knit. So this have the different effect. So you're gonna knit and purr, you alternate. When you see knit, you purr. When you see purr, bump you need then you have a seed stitch pocket so again knit purr knit purr which means you're gonna purr knit purr knit this way you can do it any pattern it indicates in the pad, uh, pattern. So when it becomes a desired length and size of pocket, you cast off. Let's see. Uh, we'll cast off right to left because then you're gonna have uh, this yarn on the left hand. Scissors. <laughs> Obviously. Oh, I. Let's see, one more row. And knit. Her. Okay, so 
You're gonna cast up your lip a little bit longer yarn so you can use the leftover to seam the side. So when it's a seed stitch, you obviously knit and purr and cast up. If you're just a stocking it, you're gonna knit and cast up. Let me see. Knit. Emperor. We have a cast off video, separate video. So if you want to learn how to cast off, there is a video for that. Okay, so we are at the end of the pocket. So, so now you're going to attach the end. And you line up <laughs> my dog. <laughs> yeah. So yarn is attached here. Basically, you just uh, <laughs> so so in and out, and you go the other side in and out using the bar. And you see the yarn is coming out from here. Then you you go the other side in and out, and you go the other side in and out. So you keep doing in and out. Here it's a little hard to do it. Yeah, and then in and out. So. The important thing is you go straight up, not going next or the other. You go straight straight up. Here too. Where is the yarn? It's hanging here. So in and out. So open up a little bit. So that's it. That is how you make the pocket in and out. I know you all are very perfectionist but nobody really take a look at it so as long as it looks clean and nice you are successful. Okay so this become very small Okay. <laughs> so you the other side you're gonna go down to seam then it become a pocket and I like to go one uh, up so in this way you have more secure pocket double it and go and then finish up and you can weave in you cut very nice <laughs> so you finish it you just weave in up and down and then you go up Voila. you're very good and then you will do the same on the other side 